conclusion you would come to. Amen. Somebody say amen now. Amen. Look at somebody and say, starting today, starting today, I want you to do some critical, do some critical. come on somebody, analytical, analytical. Thinking. thinking. Now, now if you're plotting to do some, uh, some evilness, it's going to come back and get you. Real critical thinking, meaning that you sit down and you fall through the process. That's why some folks, before they get involved, and say, let me think about it. Come on, somebody. Some just run and go and do it and don't think about it until they get in trouble. But I want you to stop and take a moment and think through the process. There's nothing that God will not reveal to you and I if we just take time and reflect all our thinking upon him. And you know, God will make a plain path for you. He'll make it clear to you so you'll understand. If you get in with this person, you're heading for trouble. Some people are only thinking about the money in. They don't think about their name or reputation. Come on, somebody. Well, if you hang out with the pigs, come on, somebody. If you hang out with the dogs, you're going to get up with scratching fleas. Come on, somebody. You know, I'm reminded in the scripture, there's a lot of people didn't use no common sense. They didn't use no kind of God sense. Because I believe that once God saves you, God attracts you to his word and trying to get you to focus upon his word that your mind will be on him, that whatever you're going through, that you will rely on him, that he'll guide you through it all. Amen. Somebody say amen now. It's important that when God puts something on your heart, you have to follow through on it, even though it may not make sense at first. But when God is involved, he's going to see to it that it come out all right. Amen. When I go back in the Old Testament, I'm reminded of a king by the name of King Saul. Many of you know who he is. He was given a great gift to be the first king of Israel. Bible said when God spoke to Samuel to go in the land that he was going to run into a man. Bible said that he was a good looking man. Come on, sisters. Don't, don't tell me you don't want no good looking man. Because when you have babies, you want good looking babies. You don't want no baby looking like a mug now. Come on, somebody. I know what I'm talking about, amen? It's important that Saul was a tall man, but he was a good-looking man. And many times when you, you may pick out a good-looking man, don't go for the first thing you see. Oh, my God. Bible said that, that Samuel had discussed with God that, that the people of Israel wanted a king over them. And then when he saw Samuel, he really didn't want Samuel over God's people. But that was a discussion between God and Samuel. Yes. But when God says something, you got to go through with it. Yes. Man, the Bible says he was a good-looking man, tall. He was a head and shoulder above normal people. When you spotted him in the crowd, you could say, there goes Saul. He had a certain walking built about him, amen? And he looked like the right cat. That would fit the bill. Come on, somebody. That's because it, it glitters don't mean it's gold. That's because it look good don't mean it's for you. Come on, somebody. And I want you to understand something that God said anoint him to be king over Israel. But Saul had a defect in his character. He had a problem with obeying God. And yet, though he was the first anointed king over Israel, God gave him a challenge. Now, you see, when you obey God, you'll stay out of a lot of trouble. Amen. I'm going to talk to you this morning. Amen. You see, most people, when they think, if you're not thinking the right way, you're going to develop a character defect. That defect can turn into depression. 
That defect can turn in to all kinds of mental and physical diseases. Because if you don't obey God, who are you obeying? I'm talking to you this morning now. I want you to understand that your action is a result of your thinking. When you act on something, it's because you've been thinking about it. You're going to any court of law, and the judge and the prosecutor will listen to those who are being charged with murder. And the, the prosecutor will say, you had a moment to contemplate. You had a moment to think about what you're ready to do. Many times folks do things without even thinking, and then they get the consequences and the results afterward. All I'm saying, do some critical, analytical thinking. Think through the process before you go out and get involved with anybody or anything. Well, you know the story. Saul made some big mistakes. The first mistake Saul made, he displeased God. You know how he did that? He went out and he made a sacrifice. Sacrifice is only meant for the prophet and the high priest. You see, when God calls you to be a king, you be a king. When God calls you to be a prophet, you be a prophet. Whatever God calls you in this life to be, you humble yourself to be it. Stop trying to be everything else. Amen. Think through the process what God called me to be. Amen. What did God call me in this life to do? Amen. Amen. It's going to take some time to think through the process. But if you humble yourself, God will show it to you. God will reveal it to you. He'll give you the answer to the things that you need in your life. This man broke God's rule by sacrificing. It was only meant for the priest. Even the prophet to sacrifice. But instead of this man saw who was good looking, who was first appointed doing what God told him to do, he got out in front of God. It's a dangerous thing when you think you can outthink God. It's a dangerous thing when you think you can outsmart God. Well, some of y'all in here think y'all smarter than God. The Holy Ghost and Jesus all put together. You don't want to include God in your schedule. You don't want to include God in your prayer life. You don't want to talk to him when you're not in trouble. You only want to talk to him when you're in trouble. Oh, I ain't hear too many amens on that one. Man, if you're in trouble all the time, you're already in trouble, trouble. Amen? Look at somebody and say, how you got out of trouble? Is how you think. You see, when you think through something, and thoughts become to be your action, they, they turn into your behavior. And when your thoughts come to solidify in the way you think it, you act out. Some people act out, don't even know why they do what they do. Oh, it's awful quiet in here today. Oh, this is a therapeutic message. I guess y'all thinking now. <laughs> Look at somebody and say, put on your thinking cap. Thinking cap. And think through the process. process. See, some people can plot, scheme, and, and figure things out. And while you're trying to figure what they're talking about, they ain't already playing and got your move like a chess move. Amen. But I'm here to say, if you fall out the God's move, I don't care what the enemy try to set up. I don't care what the enemy try to throw in your way. Whenever you try to say and do what God tells you to do, oh yeah, he's going to throw something in your way. But if you stand steadfast, God will see you through it all. Now Saul made one mistake by making a sacrifice. The second mistake he made is when he tried not, when God told him, I want you to go in and destroy all the Malachites. You know why? Because the Melchite was ruthless people. They were wicked, and they didn't think twice to murder those people of God. Children and animals and old men and old women that was at the end of the trail when they were coming through the land. God said, Saul, I'm going to give you a task and a work to go destroy them. 
The Bible says Saul went and attacked the Amalekites. Come on, somebody.